This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. O oh God, our Father, invoke your richest blessings upon this worship service today. We pray that you will meet every need, every desire, and every expectation according to your will and purpose for our lives. Please bless our pastor and every leader and participant in this worship experience. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let the words of my mouth, let the words of my mouth, and the meditation of my heart be acceptable.
On our prayer list, we have Barbara Smith. Please pray for all of our church family members, Ivory Roberts, and please pray for the family of Jesse Gaines. He has transitioned from this life, and at the present time, we do not have his service arrangements. When we get those, we will notify all our scripture reading is coming from John, the 20th chapter, verses 24 through 29. Seeing and believing. Verse 24. Now Thomas called the twin, one of the twelve, was now with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut and stood in the midst and said, peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, reach your finger here and look at my hands and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Let us go to the throne of prayer as we bow our heads. Father God, we ask that you open our eyes and open our heart that if we do not believe, Father, the things that you have allowed us to receive, the gifts that you have given us, Father, please forgive us. 
because truly every day you allow us to be amongst the living Father, and for that we want to say thank you. Thank you, Father, for being our anchor when it seems like storms are raging or when it seems like we can't get a footing. Father God, we just bow our heads and just call on you and peace will come. Peace comes in the midst of the storm, Father, and for that we say thank you. Thank you, Father, that you make a way mm, out of no way, Father, that you provide when we think, Father, that there is nothing left. But you are so merciful and so bountiful, Father. We thank you for your blessings daily. We thank you, Father, that you watch over us all night long. And you allowed us to wake up this morning clothed in our right mind. And in that moment, Father, we lift our hands. And even though our tears may fall, we still give you glory, praise, and honor, and to say thank you for another day's journey because it was only you that allowed it. Father God, be with those who are downhearted because truly your name brings joy. You lift us up, Father. You shake us off, and we continue on one foot in front of another. And that, Father, as we walk, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you. For so much, Father, so much for the little as well as the humongous for allowing us, Father, just to be still at times when we don't understand. You opened our eyes and you opened our ears to see your glory, to see your light, to remove darkness, Father, that's trying to come over us. Your light continues to shine. Forgive us, Father, if we said or done anything, anything that's not pleasing in your sight. Because truly, Father, joy does come in the morning. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for the gift that you have given us, that we do not take advantage of it at all. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for this day. Because truly, this is the day that you have made. And we will rejoice no matter where we are, Father. Rejoice to know that you paid it all for us. You are our anchor. You are our joy. You are the light that shines his bright, Father. Guide us on our journey. This is our prayer, Father, our praise. We pray and ask it all in thy son Jesus' name. For you are the king of kings. We thank you. Amen. Oh, 
Our text today is taken from the Gospel of John, the 20th chapter, verses 29 from the scriptures that were previously read um, in your hearing. Verse 29 says, Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. The subject for this message today would be um, believing without seeing. Believing without seeing. This subject today will give you some insight, hopefully, uh, to your own personal faith and hope in Christ. Jesus had 12 apostles in daily training for pastoral ministry. There were three of them because of their negative actions brought disgrace and embarrassment to him and the future church. Judas betrayed him. Judas was a hustler, a schemer, a thief, a crook. He had a mindset of trying to get rich. And the scripture teaches us about those who are focusing continuously on trying to get rich in this life. Not so much what we can accumulate here, but we need to be more concerned about our heavenly treasure. So we must... So, so much so that Judas proposed to sell Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Um, Peter denied him. Peter was a bully, a loud mouth. One who talked a whole lot, wanted to impress people that he knew more than he did. He always wanted to be up front, always wanted to be in charge. So much so, he tried to instruct Jesus as to what he should do or not do. Thomas was a doubter. Thomas 
Thomas was a hand-on person. He liked making his own decisions predicated on his own knowledge. He was not too trusting of other folk. He was, he was careful not to believe what other folk said. He liked seeing it for himself. Thomas earned the forever name Doubting Thomas because of his inability to believe that Jesus had risen from the dead. I believe there had to be more about this name that Thomas earned that distinguished him from the other apostles because they didn't believe Jesus had risen from the dead either. They had the same problem that Thomas had. Um, uh, their doubts were just as deep, just as wide, and just as high as Thomas was. But Thomas got labeled. When you get labeled by your actions, people will identify you by that label the rest of your life. Um, uh, you might, you might, you might uh, be living among some of those folk today, or you may know some of those folk um, who have been labeled, they have been labeled as liars, uh, as cheaters, uh, labeled as gossipers, been labeled as uh, uh, stealers, backbiters, uh, labeled as um, uh, troublemakers. Uh, they are mean, they are evil, and they are crazy. Um, uh, people have to wear these labels. Be careful not to get labeled in life. James, James, James uh, uh, says to Peter today, um, I, I can't speak well of you uh, with that name as a doubter. Um, he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. He also says, uh, Thomas, you are a double-minded man, unstable in all your ways. Um, uh, in the Gospel of Matthew, you will find... Uh, what Jesus says about um, a person who is uh, sort of unstable in their ways, uh, being a double-minded person is one uh, uh, who will focus his attention on God on Sunday and then focus his attention on the devil on Monday. Uh, no, no man, he says, can serve two masters. For either you will hate the one and love the other, or else you will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You, you, you cannot serve God and mammon. A double-minded person is too divided in their thinking. A double-minded person is too wavery in their opinion. A double-minded person is too untruthful in their conversation. A double-minded person is too hypocritical in their commitments. A double-minded person is too insincere in their belief. There are some of Thomas's kinfolk 
living among us today, double-minded tattlers and double and doubting skeptics are limited in their uh, uh, pursuit of knowing and what they are supposed to know aside from what they think. They, 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 are, they are, according to the scripture, they are carnal-minded and not spiritual-minded. For to be carnal-minded is death. Uh, 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 Solomon records in Proverbs 18, 21, and uh, he says, he says, he says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it eat its fruits. And that's why, that's why we have so much uh, of this foolish killings on our streets and, and, and how we have so much disturbance in our homes and in our communities and in our churches because we have too many unstable folk who are tossed it each day. And the Bible says that they, Solomon says, that they uh, become the proponents of when they say something uh, not to help but to hurt. They, they, they realize or don't realize that the power of death or life is in the power of their tongue. But Paul says, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. If you want to be happy in Jesus, if you really want to have uh, his direction and his leadership, then we have to be anchored in him. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas went into hiding after the crucifixion of Jesus. There was no record of where he was or what he was doing. He just disappeared. Maybe, maybe he just wanted to be alone, away from the crowd. This, this may have been his way of grieving Jesus' death. But, but, but after a few weeks, Thomas shows up at the meeting place and, um, where all of the ten apostles and the other disciples um, were. And, and there they shared with Thomas, Thomas, where have you been? We, we have been uh, rejoicing and we have been fellowshipping because we know now that Jesus is alive. He, he, he showed up the evening of his resurrection and he came into our midst and, 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 and he showed us the nail prints in his hands. He showed us the wounded aside from the spear and 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 Thomas uh you missed him breathing uh on us and and giving us the Holy Spirit and then uh he gave a powerful message on forgiveness you missed it Thomas Thomas says I've been with you Guys, you men and women, for over three years, we have shared some serious moments together. We have been through some good times and bad times, and we have stuck together and we have pulled each other through. And because of our relationship and fellowship, I would like to believe you. I have no good reason not to. But Thomas emphasized in no uncertain terms. He says, 
He says, but unless I see his hands and the nail prints and put my finger into the nail prints of his hand and, 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 and reach my hand into his wounded side, I will not believe. And, and Thomas, Thomas left that meeting and the scripture says that giving him time to think about again, it could be true and maybe it's not true and, and what do I have to lose? I, but I, 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 I miss the fellowship of the brethren and the sisters. And, and it was eight days later that, that Thomas went back to the meeting place and it was, it was there uh, as they assembled together. Jesus walked through the locked door, stood in the midst of them and says, peace to you. And then he says, come, come here, Thomas. Um, I, I want you to reach your finger Put it in my, in my hand, and I want you to reach your hand here in my side, and, and I, I don't want you to be unbelieving, but believing, and, and at this point, my sisters and brothers, I want you to understand that everything we say is heard by him who knows all things. Whatever we hit, whisper to ourselves, whatever we treasure in our own lives, thinking that nobody knows what we are thinking, he knows. He knew where Thomas was. He knew the reservation that, that Thomas had about the resurrection. And when he walked in, he didn't uh, come in to uh, 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 wonder what was going to happen. He said, come here, Thomas. But well, I want you to know that because you have seen me, you believe. But blessed are those who have not seen and yet they have believed. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas left, left that meeting with Jesus a changed man. And I'm glad today that, 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 that any encounter with Jesus never leaves us the same. He became, he became a powerful teacher, a powerful preacher, and a pastor. He even, he even had one of the churches, Age of named after him. I want you to know today that, that although you have been labeled, maybe have a name that I mentioned earlier, you don't have to live with that label. You, you don't have to be what people say you used to be. Once you have encountered Jesus, there's a change take place in your life. Jesus, Jesus says in the gospel of Mark 9, 23, all things are possible. Uh, all things are possible to him who believe. I, I, I believe today that Jesus is the son of God. I, I, I believe that God so loved the world that he gave his son uh, uh, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I want you to know today that God's love is not restricted. God, God love is open to all of us. It's open to those who want to be saved. It's, off, it's open to those who have walked away from him. 
is open to those who really want to come back to him. His love, his love can reach us wherever we are today. You, 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 you cannot be too high. You cannot be too low. You cannot be too good or too bad. You cannot be too right or too wrong. Where, where, wherever, wherever you are. And, I, and, and the hymn writer, hymn writer said it right because he says, I, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, ve very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But, 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 but the master heard my, uh, uh, heard my, my cry and, and then he, he lifted me. He said, now safe am I. And he said, it was love. God, God's love that lifted me. Sometimes mama can't help. Come on, daddy can't help. But I want you to know that God can help. Pastor, congregation can't help. But God can help. And he wants you to know that you can be reached from wherever you are today. And that's why, that's why I believe today that he, Jesus was crucified on Friday. I believe he was resurrected on the third day. I, 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 believe, I believe that uh, he, he lives. I believe he was dead and now he's alive forever. I believe, I believe he is the Alpha and the Omega. I believe he is the beginning and the end. I believe he is uh, uh, the who is, the who was, and the who is to come. I believe he is the way, the truth, and the life. I believe he is the light of the world. I believe he is the bread of life. I believe that he is the door to our eternal salvation. I believe that he is uh, our way maker and provider. I believe he is a doctor for those who are sick. I believe that uh, uh, he is a lawyer for those who are in trouble. I believe that uh, uh, he will uh, be with us uh, and guide us uh, through our danger. And I believe he will be our company keeper in the lonely hour. And, uh, and I do believe uh, that Jesus uh, is going to be my escort uh, uh, when it's time uh, to transition from this life. Uh, and I know some glad morning uh, I'm going to leave this place, uh, and I know uh, that he's coming uh, after me. Um, the hymn writer put it this way, he says, uh, uh, some glad morning uh, oh, when this life is over, uh, I'm going to fly away. Uh, and I want you to know today, uh, don't look for me on Delta Airline. Don't look for me on United. Uh, don't look for me on American. Uh, don't look for me on Southwest. Uh, don't look for me on Frontier. Uh, don't look for me on JetBlue. Uh, don't look for me on the Hawaiian. Uh, don't look for me on the Ask, uh, Alaska Airline. Uh, not Allegheny. Uh, they don't fly high enough. Uh, they can't go to altitude. Uh, I need to go. Uh, but Jesus uh, will be coming after me. Uh, when Jesus come, uh, I'm going to fly. Uh, go home uh, oh, where Jesus is. Uh, I'm going home uh, to be with him uh, the rest of my life. Uh, I'm going home uh, where Jesus is. Uh, the house uh, he prepared for me. Uh, I may not live uh, where you live today, uh, but I have a home uh, where Jesus is. Uh, I have a mansion uh, 
where Jesus is. Uh, he's coming for me one day. Uh, I know, I know, uh, I believe uh, that Jesus lives. Uh, I believe. Uh, I believe he's in charge of my life and he take control of everything and he keep us dearly and folded in his care. He will guide us safely in this life. If you don't believe, you ought to decide today that I know in whom I believe. I know in whom I put my trust. And in him, he had been my bread when I'm hungry. He had been my water in dry places. He had been my company keeper. Been my care. And all of these days. Well, Father, I thank you today. I thank you for being my friend. I thank you for being my savior. I thank you for being the Lord of my life. I thank you for enfolding us in your love, your grace, your care, and your tender mercies. I'm grateful for all that you have done and all that you are doing in my life. Well, God, in spite of what people might think, in spite of what people may say, I know that you are changing the label in people's lives. And, oh, God, I ask that you would keep us forever looking to you, the author and finisher of our faith. It is in the precious name of Jesus, I ask. Amen. Let us, let us leave today praying for each other, and with each other, saying after each other. Things are getting better and in some areas, they are worse. But in spite of whatever is going on, God is still in charge. Nothing is going on uh, without his knowledge. And if you really want to be where, um, uh, uh, where you can be saved or safe, then you want to be in the arms of Jesus. And I thank him today. Thank God for making it possible that we had Jesus to make this possible for us. And so let us leave rejoicing today in his power, in his love, in his joy. Again, as we mentioned earlier, we do not have funeral arrangements for Brother Jesse Gaines, and, um, but let's remember his family in these times, and let us um, um, continue to pray for our sick and shut in, and those who are um, uh, recuperating at home or in rehab, and let us forever keep them in our prayers. Sister Barbara Smith, and also um, Samira Bullock, uh, that God will cover them with his grace and mercy as he has done already in their lives. Let us look to the Lord now and be dismissed. Now may the love of God, the peace of Jesus, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, Rest, rule, and abide with each heart now, henceforth, and forevermore. Amen.